Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. You joined me on a rather horrid, wet, rainy December day in the 180SX again. And what we're going to be doing today is making a few small cosmetic improvements to the car. The first of those improvements is here in the interior. And generally, the interior of the 180 is looking pretty sharp, um, pretty nice and clean and tidy the way I wanted it to. However, there is one small thing which is letting it down, which is the gear stick. And we can see you have two problems here. The first is this gator, which is, as you can see, very threadbare and has got holes in it. You can poke your finger right through there. Uh, the leather is very sort of cracked and old and tired and generally just needs to be replaced. So we will be replacing the boot there. And also this gear knob, which um, some of you out there probably quite like this. Um, but um, personally, I'm not a big fan of it, um, the sort of snookable thing. And as you can see, the, the paint has started to wear away from it. Um, and it doesn't quite fit as well as the original gear knob used to, because uh, you can see the metal uh, shaft of the gear stick poking through, and you can see it. And um, no one likes having their shaft exposed, so we're going to be replacing this with a nice original factory item. The second part of what we'll be doing today is on the outside of the car. And like the interior, the exterior of the 180 is generally looking pretty clean and tidy. However, it is being slightly let down by the windscreen wiper arms. You can see this one's not too bad, but we've got a bit of a rust around this rivet here. There's a bit of rust there, and it's a similar story on the other one. There's some rust over there on the end of the hook. And also the nuts themselves that hold them on are a little bit rusty, so they could use a bit of paint. But they are nothing compared to the wiper at the back of the car. You can see the wiper arm here has managed to lose almost all its paint. See, it was black at one point, but it's almost all rubbed off somehow. Um, we did replace the wiper blade soon after the car was imported, so that's good. But um, the actual arm itself definitely needs a repaint. And you can also see the, here this um, corner piece on the window frame has lost its paint, but unfortunately that's not really removable, so we'll have to deal with that some other time when the car is dry. But for now, what we're going to do is remove the three wiper arms, which is pretty easy. It's just one little nut for each of them. And then we'll take them inside, rub them down, and give them a bit of paint. There's this cover, we've just got a little 12mm nut. Should just come straight off the spindle. There we are. Okay, for these front ones, it's a 14mm nut. A bit tricky to get into, but... Oh. That didn't sound good, but... Oh, there we go. Alright, so now they're released. Should just... have to give it a bit of a tap to release it, but... There we are, wiper arm comes off. There we are. Right, so that's all the wiper arms off. Now we can rub them down and paint them. So here we are at my painting workbench, also known as my sofa with a tarpaulin on it. So I've got this, um, it's like a scotch pad, except it's not. It's actually a, a scouring pad that you would use for cleaning a sink or a kitchen worktop or something like that. But it's nice and sort of rough. So what I'm going to do is just um, rub down this wiper arm, this is the rear wiper arm starting with, rub that down, get rid of all the remaining paint off of it, and then we'll degrease it with um, some tack cloths, and then um, we can uh, paint it with satin black paint. This is just a tack cloth to get rid of all sort of dust and dirt and grime from the surface before we paint. So yeah, we're just going to give it several coats of satin black, black um, spray paint. Try again. <laughs> right, so we've tack clothed the uh, wiper arm to make it nice and clean. Uh, we've masked off the little plastic end piece here, so we're just going to paint it with some uh, satin black spray paint. Uh, we're not going to bother with any primer since it's a galvanized surface. I don't think it had primer on it from the factory. So yeah, we'll just give it several coats of uh, satin black and that should be lovely. 
ordinarily you shouldn't spray inside, but it's raining outside, we've got a door open, do as I say, not as I do. Cool, that's the first coat, so we'll let that dry and then do some more. Now that should be our last coat. And there we are, it's all full finished. Paint's dried, we've got several coats on there and I think you'd agree it's looking Really rather smart. It's a lot shinier. Uh, we've got a nice even satin finish. There's a few little marks in the surface of the paint, but um, nothing that's really going to show up. It is just a wiper arm after all, and overall the finish is pretty good. You see the Nissan logo there, so that's now all nicely done, ready to go back on the car. Now all we've got to do is um, strip and paint the other two. I'm actually really impatient to see how this looks back on the car, so I'm actually just going to pop it back on quickly so we can have a look. And there we are, it's back on, and I think you'll agree that is a huge improvement. I mean, it looks almost like a brand new wiper. And I'll try and do a little side-by-side -side comparison here with what the old wiper arm used to look like so you can see the difference. So now I'm going to tackle the uh, front wiper. I've got one of them here. They're both exactly the same. And they're in nowhere near as bad a shape as the rear wiper was, to be fair. Um, the paint's still pretty much all on them, uh, but they are looking rather dull and a bit tired and some rust is coming through. Like you can see on this one around that rivet there, there's some rust and also at the end of the main body of it, there's a bit of rust there. And of course, there's a lot of rust in the hook at the end from where that's been scraped off um, every time the wiper blade gets changed. Uh, and there's also this um, uh, part at the end here, which is spring loaded, so when that when you flip the wiper arm up, that's where it hinges. So yeah, I'm going to key all this up with um, the uh, abrasive pads, try and rub away as much of the rust as I can, and when it's all nicely keyed, just like with the other one, we'll uh, wipe it with the uh, tack cloths and um, give it a few coats of fresh satin black. Okay, well the first one is done, and it's looking really rather good. It's not quite as good in my opinion as the rear wiper turned out. There's a couple of little specks and imperfections there that you can see in the reflection, but generally it's a pretty pretty good result. It's definitely a lot lighter than it was when we started. You can see the damaged parts like there where that rust had flaked away, and also on the end hook there there's a bit uh, but the paint didn't fill in and really to fix those I would need to fully strip this back with uh, a paint remover wheel um, and repaint them from scratch which I wasn't really willing to do and uh, this is this is fine this is um, really brought them back and uh, you won't see these little imperfections when the wiper blades are on the car so yep that's now ready to go back on and I already have the second one in paint as well Okay, both the wiper arms are now fully repainted. I let them dry overnight and I've reattached the wiper blades. And I've also repainted the two nuts that hold them on, because no one likes rusty nuts. So now we can go and put them back on the car. And there they are, refitted to the car. And that's a huge improvement. Just like with the rear wiper, they look pretty much brand new now. So I think, for the cost of a seven pound spray can and a bit of elbow grease, that is a really good result. Now that we're all finished up with the wipers, 
we can attend to the gear stick. So to replace the um, snooker ball, I have this. This is an original factory Nissan uh, gear knob. This is actually from an S14A, a UK spec 200SX. I've been looking up and actually it turns out that the Type X 180s, of which this is very similar, this is a Type S, they actually did come with this gear lever um, knob as standard. So this could actually be identical to the one that this car left the factory with. Either way it'll just thread straight on in place and cover up all of the exposed metal there. As for the gear stick boot itself, my first port of call there was to go down to my local Nissan dealership and ask at the parts desk for one for a S13 200SX, the uh, UK domestic model which is all exactly the same here in terms of gear lever and stuff. And they were able to give me the part number for it but they didn't actually have any in stock and they said that even their supply in Japan didn't have any, which was kind of surprising. So I went on the internet and I did find some for sale but they were almost £30, which is a little bit much. Um, but what I did manage to find instead was this. This is a aftermarket gear stick boot for this car, and it's actually made of genuine proper leather. It's quite thick. It's apparently it's Italian leather, which is nice. And this only cost me uh, £12, so it was a lot cheaper. The only difference, really, is that you can see this is just sort of open. It has no attachment points, whereas the original gear stick gator has a plastic bracket that goes underneath here, underneath the center, which the uh, boot is actually attached to. And that means you can just install it with a few screws. There's one there, 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 and there. And obviously this doesn't have that. So what we're gonna have to do, I think, is we're going to have to take this one out and then remove the plastic bracket and then somehow attach it to this one. And this one actually has slots in it in various places, which I think are meant to attach it to that plastic bracket. Uh, first thing of course is unthread this and then we can pop off this gear f um, this gear gear stick fascia plate thing that goes around the radio and stuff. That just pops off here and it comes away and uh, get the um, gator up and over the stick. So here that comes. That's good, that's come off. And now just pop this off. It should just be a matter of grabbing it here. There we go, like that. And then you just work your way around. And there, that comes off. That comes over the top. And then it will hopefully sort of lever out this way. I may have to put the camera down to do this because it's kind of a two-handed job. Okay, that's completely removed. Leaved it up over the gear stick. I also had to undo this um, thing here, which was screwed onto that bracket there with two screws, and it goes through this little hole. I'm not exactly sure what it is, to be honest with you. I've seen it there before. It appears to be some kind of air vent or duct or something, which is kind of strange. But anyway, that's just two screws to completely free up the uh, centerpiece. And you can see here the bottom of the gear stick gator. We've got the plastic bracket here. Um, that it keeps its shape, so yeah, just four screws there, remove those, and that will come off. Okay, that's the old one unscrewed and freed from uh, the fascia plate. So now we can work on um, attaching the new gator boot to the bracket. Okay, I've been um, fitting it on for a few minutes, and uh, it's not going quite according to plan. At this end it fits um, pretty well, you know, it comes round, and uh, that hole isn't in quite the right place to go over that um, little... Uh, nub there, so I'll have to redo that. But over here in this corner, you can see the leather is really stretched because this hole here for this tab is just not long enough, or it's slightly in the wrong place, whatever, which is not allowing the leather to stretch over this end. Um, so fundamentally, it kind of fits, but um, I think it just does need a bit of um, end user modification. And there we are, all fully fitted. Only took a little trim with the uh, Stanley knife just to open up some of the holes a little bit, but now it fits very well. I did actually try, um, before anyone comments suggesting, I did try taking the gator off and fitting it the other way around on the bracket, and it actually fitted even worse that way, so I think this was definitely the way around to do it, and um, it all fits pretty well now, and um, the leather is a little bit stretched in a couple of places, especially around here, but I'm sure as I use the car and as the leather um, heats up and cools down over the days, over the months and seasons, then the leather will sort of loosen a bit and it'll probably end up fitting a bit better. Um, 
but now it's all done so I can fit it back to the fascia plate, reinstall the fascia plate on the um, dashboard and then put on the new gear knob. Okay, so that's refitted, looks pretty good so far. Now what I've done here with this sort of weird air vent thing is because it doesn't really seem to serve any particular purpose I've just cable tied it to the fascia board just to keep it out of the way which would mean getting this on and off in the future is a lot easier so we'll just slot that over the gear lever and it just presses into place I'll just make sure that's all in correctly Good stuff. Now just thread that through there. Push this all down like it was before. Already that's looking ten times better. And now the final piece. Slide that on and twist. And there we go. That's the new gear knob fitted. Just give that a try. to say that feels a lot nicer to shift with than the old snooker ball thing you can really sort of grip it lower down which you couldn't with the old one and of course you've got your nice new leather gator there that I think you will agree is a huge improvement over this mess so yeah only a few quid about 15 quids worth this this pair cost me so on that it's a really good interior update. Well, that brings another little video to a close. The interior and exterior of the 180 is looking a little bit smarter now, which is a good result for not much money, which is always nice. This will be the last video I do in 2018, as it's going to be the um, 28th or the 29th by the time this video goes up. So I hope you've all had a good Christmas, and there is another video already in the pipeline. So I will see you all in the new year with a new video.